Today's lesson is on scatter plots. We're in our chapter 10 packet statistics. We are in chapter 10, volume B of your textbook on page 174. The very first part of this is not in your packet. So I'm not in the packet yet. I'll tell you when I get there. So just follow along and read these notes with me. Draw a scatter plot given two sets of quantitative data. Quantitative data are data that can be counted or expressed numerically. So something you count is a quantity. Suppose you are exploring whether the steepness of the slope affects the speed of a cyclist cycling up that slope. Well, cyclists from Team Blue were timed as they rode a hilly course. Their speed's y in miles per hour, and their climbing various inclines, x, are shown in a table. Here's the table. Cyclists from Team Blue were timed as they rode the hilly course. So their y is their speed, as you can see here, miles per hour. This is the y. Going to go on the y axis, and their inclines, the angle, the degrees of that incline, that's the x in the table. So I have um, a total of about 20, I believe it is, angles of inclination, various ones, and speed in miles per hour. The data recorded in the table are quantitative data, that is, all the data are numeric. A scatter plot is a graph made by plotting ordered pairs in a coordinate plane. The points show the association between the two sets of quantitative data or in a bivariate data, two sets of data, bivariate data. You can make a scatter plot to find the association between the angle of an incline and the speed of the cyclist. So the data that's in this table, the x values, so for instance, when the incline is six degrees, the speed was four and six tenths miles per hour. So when the incline was six degrees, the speed was four and six tenths. So that's this point right here. So all of those data points are put onto this coordinate axis, the x being the angle of incline and the y being the speed. So we are going to today create scatter plots. We're going to do this same thing. Now I'm in your packet, and I'm in your packet on page 3. So you uh, looked over your vocabulary on pages 1 and 2 prior to this page 3. So on page 3, the first example here says, draw a scatter plot for each table of bivariate data. Use one centimeter on the horizontal axis to represent 10 units. Use one centimeter on the vertical axis to represent five units. So I'm going to, with a ruler, you do need a ruler to do this, I'm going to create my x and y axes. So let's see if this will line up with my little ruler. And I'm not sure this, this is going to line up, but hopefully it will line up with this graph paper. It looks like it is. And so I'm using a ruler tool. You should be using a ruler. You're doing this along with me. I know this is off just a little bit. So make sure you're using the actual line of the paper. Mine's off just slightly. So 10 was what I was going to count by one centimeter on the x-axis, which this is x. And this is y. And I'm going to count by tens. So you can see these boxes here. This would be 10. This would be 20. This would be 30. This would be 40. Very small paper here on mine. Yours looks probably a little bit bigger. 60, 70. I think that's good. Um, maybe I'll go out to 80. Might as well. And then I'm going to count by fives on my y-axis. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You can see the darker lines of these ones that I'm counting by a centimeter each. 35. I'll go up to 40. Okay, so I'm going to plot the points. So my first x is 10. My y value is 20. Or tw my x value is 20. My y value is 10. So 20, 10. 
So I'm going to um, put all these points on, and mine aren't going to line up exactly on this graph paper. This is off just tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but hopefully it'll look good. 30, I have a y value of 16. Um, 70 is 36. Uh, 80 is 40. Let me get them on there. Uh, 70 is 12. So 10, 12. Uh, 10 is 7. 10. Uh, 60 is 30. So I'm just plotting all these points. Yes, it's going to take a little bit here. 60 is, oops, 60 is 30. No, nope. it's not the 60 mark there. Not going to go on there. Let's see. Off just a little bit. Maybe that'll move over. There we go. 60 is 30. 50 is 28. So yours is probably going to look better than mine. Why are they off so much? Well, I guess that's where it's going to go. 40 is 21, 60 is 31, 30 is 18, 70 is 37, 40 is 20, is 26. So this is as easy as it is, we're just plotting an x and a y value and 40 is 22. And you're going to see that we're going to talk about the associations of these points. So there looks like there seems to be a relationship. I don't know what this data is, so I didn't label my x or y axes, but there seems to be a, a positive relationship here. As the x values go up, the y values are also going up. So how to plot some scatter points or a scatter plot on, some, on the graph paper. And then there's one more example, which is you can find on page four in your packet. Use one centimeter on the horizontal axis and five centimeters, well, one centimeter to represent five units on the horizontal axis, so they're switching it, and one centimeter to represent 10 centimeters, 10 units on the vertical axis. So I'm going to let you do this one on your own. And again, using a ruler to create your axes. And I think it's okay if you go up in one and out one. Yes, you could use the actual edge of the paper if you wanted this to be your x-axis as well, if you wanted to do that. Um, I went up one because I know it's going to fit. Make sure you label your x and your y axes. And you're going to count by fives now here on the horizontal axis and counting by tens. So go ahead and plot all those points, and we will go over that in class um, when we meet next.